Previously on Ungalicious Ghana Cook, three teams clashed in the last of three quarterfinal culinary battles. In the end, the Brothers family and Manor family showed the Jano family how to properly spice an Ungalicious dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it going? The bread and the bread. How's it going with the bread? Tasty, packed with flavor. When you present a dish to me like this and Everything is on top of it. I'm expecting the kinky to taste a bit different. The Jano family bowed out, leaving brothers and manor family to continue. This is Ungalicious. And this is the semi finals. If you know your Unga, you know you have a helping hand in making finger licking and taste bad tickling Ungalicious dishes. In this first session of two semi final battles, Three teams, winners from the quarterfinals, will face off to determine who gets the two tickets to fight to get into the winning zone. Each family is made up of two members, a cook and a helping hand. This is Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. Don't go away. Honey, what's wrong? I want chicken lice soup, hot and spicy. Food is ready! More red card. There's an Onga for every meal. Introducing the new Onga stew tablet and Onga beef tablet. Onga, Mama's helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome back to Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. In this episode, the first of two semi-final battles, three teams will battle for only two spots. Yes, two spots that will take them closer to the promised land. It is the semi-final, the first stage of it, in the Ungalicious Ghana Cooks, the family battle edition. What it tells you is that those who have passed through into these semi-finals are great cooks and are becoming even wonderful and uh, explicit, good, great, use the verb for them. Chefs. Now we invite the first batch of the team, the families, to come into the kitchen and defend who they really are in the kitchen. Shall we have the business time? Yo, yo, yo. It is time for the business, business. So today is the semi-final and definitely as we have been through all the process in this competition, we are going to elevate our skills and yes. give our best. Yes. So business time family, no joking. No joking at all. And today on the competition is going to be very tough because the people we have here today are all, you know, professionals. So just expect nothing but the best from business time and we won't disappoint you. Mana family, it is time for business. Come in. Hello. I'm Mali, I'm the cook. Hi, and I'm Nana, the helping hand. Together, we, we are Team Mana. Mana. Here we are, once again, feeling lost by now and then. Yeah. I'm not saying we are lost in this competition, but we are lost of words. Yeah. We've made it this far by the grace of God. And of course, Onga, yeah. Team Mana. One love. Shall we have the banging family in the kitchen? Hello guys, I'm Anita, the helping hand, and I have Emmanuel, the cook. And together we are the Benin family. We are here once again to let you know that we've qualified for the semi-finals. Things haven't been easy from the entry to the auditions to, to the quarter-finals and then to the semi-finals. But we want you to know that we are happy that we've been able to stay throughout the whole show till this point in time. We are still hoping for the best in the semi-finals. Today we are going to bring you a good ungalicious plated meal today. We know that we are going to pass through to the finals. Yeah, the competition is not easy. It's very, very tough. Looking at the team that you're going to meet today, it's awesome. But hey, we're going to try our best and make sure we come out the winners. I guess the Scripture Union members are here. It is well. Hey. It is well with our souls. Angalicious. Angalicious.
Angalicious. Well, we'll see whether it will be well with your soul or not. The two teams that will come out with the most ungalicious tasting dish will be on their way to win the first prize of 20,000 Ghana CDs, second prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs, third prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs, and fourth prize of 5,000 Ghana CDs, and many other fantastic prizes. There's something for everyone. Ungalicious Ghana Cooks is brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. I have an Onga tip for the contestants. The Onga Bomone is a convenient pack of our locally fermented fish that brings out the traditional taste in green leafy vegetable stews and soups such as kontomri and ayoyo soup. Our judges know what they're looking for. Aha, uh -huh. we've got into the stage, that stage, the semi-final, the first batch of the semi-final, where you have come all the way through and when you are evicted from the program, and the ultimate of winning the beautiful, juicy award eludes you, it is the most difficult and the most painful to take. But we have in this, this session families that are all promising and we're expecting that the battle will be tough and will be close-knit and we'll see, it will be difficult to eliminate. I'm expecting that even the marks might look so close because they are all so good and the expectation is that when Mama's helping hand is employed properly and judiciously, I think there is going to be a way out. I'm expecting a lot of texture, flavor, and a very good combination of aroma. You know, I want to see all the colors coming through, everybody bringing all the different ingredients together. I want people to come into the kitchen and, you know, show that they've really got into the semi-finals. Onya Gruni Ebedi Iwaha, Sesiyano, Enyubiraba, Onga, Edi Yedibana. Me miss, a miss a pair, you'll be kicked out. Now our guest judge is an award-winning entertainment show host. She is a radio and TV presenter and recently been on TV3 and she's also a connoisseur of good food when it comes to ungalicious dishes. Let's welcome Miss G. Hi, my name is Miss G and I'm a guest judge today on Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. I can't wait to have an Ungalicious experience. I can't wait to see the contestants battle it out fiercely with their ingredients. They're going to tell us what you're putting in and what you're cooking. I can't wait to have a taste of the meal and of course, I can't wait to tell you what I've enjoyed. It's going to be a total package with me, and I hope that I get to enjoy the meal that is made with Onga. Welcome, 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 you, welcome, 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 you, welcome, you, welcome. Miss G, you, you, you are grateful, you. you are grateful you joined thank us. Thank you. Wow. Okay, now Miss G is here. Tell, tell them something, your expectation of the food they're about to cook. Well, I, I realize that it looks like it's a chorister's edition. That's right. I, I hope I, that it reflects <laughs> in the meal we're about to have, you know. Well, symphony, symphony of flavors and, that's right, and that's aromas. Right. You and see, that'll okay. be a good blend, you know. Mm, so we're expecting mm. to... I love sumptuous meal. I love spicy food, like he told you already. Mm -hmm. He said it right. I'll, but if it's not nice, so mm -hmm. I pray that... And it's, you have it's, tissue here. Uh, yeah, you see, mm -hmm. so I pray that that you are able to prepare something that we get to enjoy. All the best to all of you. This is Ungalicious Ghana Cooks brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. We are all set for the beginning of another monumental battle. As you already know, your challenge will be communicated to you as to what we'll be expecting of you today. Um, just feel free. You know your cabin is, has all the gadgets that you need. Your fridges are well stocked with your proteins. And then you have a very lovely pantry around you. Guys, go all out. Don't hold back. Because if you hold back, that will get you out. All right? Yes, a blank check without a signature is no check. We are giving you a blank check, but we are putting a signature on that blank check. And that signature on the blank check is auto. Now you are preparing for us your special version of the auto. That means we are leaving you to create as much as he, you want to. And that's why Chef Joe told you that go all out in producing that special otto. You have 40 minutes to produce this otto. And you know 40 minutes 40 is way minutes too much for production for otto. of otto. So please, you can start cooking. Using yam and some people are using um, yeah. plantain. Yeah, they are supposed to go wild. 
Okay. So, but we auto comes in two different ways. Yes. Okay, so when you open your cabinet, depending on what you get? No. You have, you have yam, you anything have you want planting. to present. Okay. You just have to close the cabin. Okay. But one thing though, mm -hmm. your fragrance, your hunger variant mm -hmm. has to play a role. Mm. Yeah, because we want to know how technical you are, how knowledgeable you are okay. with the hunger, the metal, uh, metal in the non stick pan, the flavors and, and the spice. The so. Wow. But this yeah. is cucumber in auto. Pickle cucumber. I wonder what that is. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that is. Okay. But they say yam, yam is auto. You are doing planting. Uh, or you, your auto is planting. Ah, okay. Okay. So, you got to see the difference. But you guys have become familiar with yourself. Why don't you just give up for the other people to win? Rasta hey. man. Hey, did you hear that? <laughs> hey. You become friends on set. So the way they form a choir to sing yeah. together. Yeah. Harmonious, you see? were singing together. So like they will talk in the training room, they go to the food and they fight. Yeah, so yeah. So it's like that. So when they, they 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 have a chat in the changing room and they come on the, into the boxing ring, no more friendship. It's about the job. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So no mercy. Use this side because you seem to have stamina. This is Angalicious Ghana Clues brought to you by Onga, my Miss Helping Hand. The kitchen is now washed with all kinds of aromas. Aroma that should tell you that the dishes will be scrumptious. Here is yet another Onga tip. The Onga stew will give you the perfect reddish look in your jollof and stews. The family that knows how to use their Onga stew and many other variants displayed here in the kitchen will come out with an Onga delicious taste. Make sure you visit the Onga Ghana site on Facebook for irresistible recipes to cook and enjoy with your family. There's more when we return. Don't go away. Kojo! Yes, mommy. Could you please get me the new Onga chicken tablet from Auntie AC? Okay, mommy. The new what? Ah. Onga chicken tablet, Onga. 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 Auntie AC. Yes, Kojo, what do you want? Onga chicken tablet, Onga. Onga chicken tablet, Onga. Introducing the new Onga Chicken Tablet, which adds natural chicken taste to not only your chicken dishes, but to all your favorite dishes. Spice up your meals with the new Onga Chicken Tablet. Onga, mama's helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome back. This is the first of two semi-final battles to determine who goes into the winning zone where they will continue to fight to win the first prize of 20,000 Ghana CDs, second prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs, third prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs, and fourth prize of 5,000 Ghana CDs. In this episode, one family would have to say goodbye to the competition, while the other two will continue in the fight to win the ultimate prize. Who will it be? We're about to find out. And counting down from five. And stop work. This is Onga Licious Ghana Cooks brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. Make sure you visit the Onga Ghana site on Facebook for irresistible recipes to cook and enjoy with your family. There's nothing to do but to bring your meal for tasting. Okay, business time. Tell us what is before us. Um, guacamole, that is um, avocado puree, some peanuts, poached egg. And then, which one is the poached egg? <laughs> that is oh. over here. Uh, oh, is it? Okay, so I think Miss G. Ladies first. Okay. Did you say this is guacamole? 
no, that is um, is it guacamole or pureed pear? Pureed, yes, pureed, pear pureed. avocado, it's not pear, yeah. these are not pears. Avocado pureed. The pepper and the onion mm -hmm. in the background it, yeah. gives you that authentic or tough thing. I think the poached egg mm -hmm. is the superstar here. Yeah. Mm. It yeah. brings all the ingredients together. It, it is like centralizes them. And notwithstanding the texture of it, it looks like it is overly cooked, but it's still creamy. Yeah. Mm. Creamy in the Your auto fantastic. Yeah. Your avocado matches well. Take your egg nice. matches well. Dove. But I don't know what your peanuts is doing there. Yeah. What what are we supposed to do with the peanuts? So actually, I I I, I crush some in the auto and then try to just put some on the side. Maybe if my guest will feel like taking more granite or something. I would have rather justified to say that, to depict that there's peanuts in it and that if you are allergic to the plate, then yes. you know that there's yeah. that would be a better response than to say if the guests will like. If we don't like, that's why he didn't like and was asking what to do with it. Yes, yes. So I've given a more, more justifiable book. Thank you very much. Come and take your plate. Give your knife. Give his knife. That's right. So, Mana, explain to us what you've put in before the judges. Plantain and yam at all. Plantain, yam, or top. You yes. mix the two. Mix two. Mm -hmm. with, How does uh, that even work? With um, mashed carrot paste. Mashed carrot paste with a uh, sunny side egg. With the what? Mom? With the chicken balls. Chicken balls. Yes, please. I don't see any ball on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I slice it, please. <laughs> To the double shell. Okay. Beautiful flavors. Trust me. Which hunger fragrance did you use? Please, with the ato, we use the classic and then the tablet, the shrimp tablet for the ato. Beautiful flavors coming from the the okay. carrots, the carrot, okay, and yeah. the chicken, and the chicken, and the ato. Have you tasted the chicken best yet? What did you do to the chicken best? I, again, I don't know what you were trying to achieve with your coach egg. Had no business doing on the plate. Nothing. If anything at all, it came to take away a lot of things. Because it's under it's underdone. Mm -hmm. It's quite raw. It's supposed to be a sunny side up. Yes. But it's quite raw. So I don't think any of us want to try it. But then I'm tasting the cucumbers and it tastes like a herb tea. Mm. There's no taste on it. It's just heavy, like ginger thing, and that's it. It, it has ruined the taste, the flavors in my mouth. It has just wiped everything off my exactly tongue. Exactly what that's it did true. to me. That's true. Uh, why is everybody not going close to the egg? Oh, be my okay. guest. If you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, you have. Please have it. And what is this? Chicken. Chicken. Go for the egg. Mm -hmm. He didn't try the egg. Nobody did. It. That's very. Did you? Nobody unusual. did. No. Okay. But the carrots is carrots. If it looks good, I eat it. Yeah. The carrots, what do you say it's called? Carrot what? Mashed carrot. Mashed, mashed carrot. carrot. It tastes wow. really good. Just mashed Very carrot. You didn't put it in the season. No, no, they didn't. Mashed carrot what? Mm -hmm. It's too round. But this is really running. <laughs> Garlic mashed carrot. Okay, now it's becoming more like and a meal. But mashed carrot, carrot mashed carrot. Shrimps. Is this grated Thank you. or mashed? But this is beautiful. It looks more like good. grated. Mm. No, I use the hand blender. The plunger. The this Carrots. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Please, the judges, we are done. The rest, mm. they, are no, they are not judges. Okay, we are sorry. <laughs> hey, who's are it? you called you are not judges? <laughs> 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 your, your face looks really nice. <laughs> this is good. Expression on your face. Price Thank price. you very much. Okay. You. Um, then you family. Then you family, what have you placed before us? So we have wounded. It's a puree. Huh? <laughs> wounded. Yeah. Wounded. Why will you choose <laughs> like uh, wounded? We chose wounded because in the um, at all with the palm oil, it has a little bit of the yam in the yam box in it. So it's not like finely pureed or finely crushed. It's, it's not like what? It. Mm. It's not finely pureed. It's not smooth. So you can feel the yam. In it, okay. yeah. That's With, what makes okay, it so wounded. Like mash, yes. Yes. Mash. You wounded the yam. Yes. You <laughs> didn't kill it completely. Kill it. Okay. So it's not totally mashed. So. <laughs> With mango salsa and then a sunny side up. Hmm. 
I thought in mango salsa. And you said it is tasty. And you gave us the two variants of uh, otto. Yes, please. Because sometimes we eat otto right. in mm -hmm. a white form. Yes, and then the we white. eat it in the yellow form. Yes, please. And then the white form has um, flaked salmon in it. We are supposed to find out, right? Yeah. You want to ruin the surprise. Sorry. Any onga fragrance in there? Yes, please. We use the onga momone to season the sunny side up and then the eto. And also we use the three makes and then the classic for the mango salsa. And a little bit of the momone to mm. the salsa. Mm. It's working, yeah? Mm. Now, there's something mm. for me here. Mm. Mm. Individually, the, it seems to be coming well. The mango salsa, I think, is lacking something. It, it is promising, but it doesn't end the promise in your mouth. I, I'm, I'm trying to put a finger to it, but when you put it in your mouth, it's like, this should be promising. The name, even the mango salsa, is promising. It's ex, um, it it pushes you into expecting something. But I guess, probably your seasoning, the longer variants you use should have come up slightly because it, the mango sweetness seems to be overshadowing all the savory. And that is what I'm finding here. But your top flavors are great. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that there. Let me share, let's look at the momoni, egg momoni. The sunny side up with momoni. There was momoni in the egg. Yep. That's what they said. It's beautiful done. Yeah. I mean, it's not this running. A better. <laughs> Another taste, green pepper over momoni. Okay, well, Charlie. Maybe it was making it delicate. But a few of you have impressed me with the auto um, flavors. recipes and flavors that you have been able to achieve here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Thank you once Thank again you. for working hard with Onga. Mm -hmm. I love it. In the Angalicious kitchen, there are no really victors nor vanquished. It is all food, fire and fun. There's more when we return. Don't go away. Honey, what's wrong? I want chicken lice soup, hot and spicy. Food is ready! <sighs> oh, more red card. There's an Onga for every meal. Introducing the new Onga stew tablet and Onga beef tablet. Onga, Mama's helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. <laughs> Two families tied with 227, and with as close as 223, one family is going home. And the family to go home, as usual and as tradition, has all these hampers, the two beautiful hampers to go home with. And that family to go home today is... Business time is going home. Thank you very much for coming. So we have, we have our guest judge, Miss G, to present to you the, okay. the hampers. Thank you and congratulations for coming. But before, okay, after presenting, you give me your apron and your talk. This is the end of the journey for the Business Times family. Okay, so on our plates, the avocado puree didn't go well. The flavors was a bit low, so that was our major setback. Our feeling was like cool because, you know, in competition, definitely it's only one person who will win. But we were trying to, you know, move to the top because, you know, we had wanted to be in the first to third position. Yeah. So, unfortunately for us, we're out of the competition. Guys, we've qualified for the semis finals. We are now moving to the Jessica Young inclusion. Yeah. Are we scared? Not at all. Should we be scared? No, no, Why? no, no, no. 
Because we are already winners. We just want to prove to the judges that we deserve to be there. Of course. Team Mana. One love. Team Mana. One love. Team Mana. One love. We say, yeah, yeah, boy, no. de, 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 de. It has been very hectic in the kitchen. But then as we rejoice at the finals very soon, we hope that you would also sit at your homes as you watch us and then rejoice with us as we also take the ultimate prize on the GD. Expect more from us. It's the Bingy family once again. Slow but, but sure. sure. On God, let's show us. Ghana, Ghana cooks. cooks. Apart from the fact that she's my country woman <laughs> and she definitely knows how to cook, I'm sure that okay. your family will enjoy this one with you. Definitely. So I'm doing this on behalf of Onga. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank I you appreciate. so much. And you charge so much like uh, uh, yeah. When she eats a foodie. She <laughs> likes good taste. Yeah. So she was able to identify it when it came across and when it didn't she identified it right. Right. True. Alright, so we had a top. This is not the one that you mash in your kitchen and your homes, but this is well made with Onga of course and definitely we had different flavors, different tastes and we've got to find out that we had a tie. It means that people put in a lot. I had a beautiful experience of knowing that there could be more beyond all that I do in my kitchen. So I had a Yilele experience right here on Ongalicious Ghana Cooks. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I did predict, yes I did predict that it was going to be close knit with just five marks out of about a 250 a family lost it and has has to leave the competition five months that is most painful but the two families are stating that are going to go into the next stage of justifying your inclusion are families that brought flavors to bear exotic they make it so exotic so nice so busting in your mouth and it made it necessary for them to sail through into that stage well let's see what they come across with because it's getting keener we've all been blown away the surprise is quite intense we realize that there's one big lesson to be learned one group focused so much on their plating they forgot to work harder on their taste. Joe and Joe will always make the right decision for you. Next week, we shall have the other set of winners to battle to get into the winning zone. Make a date. Ungalicious Ghana Cooks is brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Ilele.